600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. <laughs> From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our <laughs> beachhead. <laughs> And this, this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you... We'll die. <laughs> the brutality is oh, real, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho not, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen, don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. And trust me, right. nothing ever happened. Yeah, Dogen, Lily threat. Whoa! You don't got nothing to Dude, worry about. Dude, your hair, yep. or your yeah. teeth, Giant or your... I, I honestly, I don't know which of you is more I alarming. Telling you about. Bobby Zooch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Whoa. Light Monster! Formation. Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Yeah. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! <laughs> Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Bodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But to soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. <laughs> Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show yes. them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, you had three. an outcast, right. a You're circus done, freak. Think. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, 
They make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. <laughs> now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wow, <laughs> You're so lucky. You get to go home soon. <clears throat> home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may <clears throat> come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find? What they don't expect is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Okay, cool. What is this? They're different bunks. So each one is its own uh, shape file. <laughs> are you going to be Raz or are you going to be someone else? Please don't remove that memory card. I know, right? I don't think it works like that anymore. Here. You're done, you get the last pizza. I got the rice out there, I'll I'll be right back. Sure? Yeah, man, go ahead. One time, this is what Uncle Wears. I apologize. Yeah. Alright, settle down in here! Big day tomorrow. Order the pizza. I want to yeah. see Put each and every in one of you runs oh in my classroom at 0600 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the early oh, bird, geez, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, yeah. lights out. Um, I used to work at Arby's. It was like actually one of my top five most hated jobs ever. Um, but one of the bullshit rules that they had was. Okay, quick eye again Whoa! before we start. Mm -hmm. huh? Look over that way if you will. Um, oh, okay, yeah. You're just going to get your thing. Wow, um, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Anyways. Now look um, up for me if you will. Uh, the cheese sticks that we sold, hmm. if they were, Some of the if, old if they came are out of the rose pack You'll find bits of together, them flapping around they were considered warm. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together right. to make a brand new challenge so marker. I would know but if you my have girlfriend to buy a was coming in to visit me, I know that to she liked to, uh, Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll so be I able to use brand new psychic powers. And she'd get, like, a thing of four, but they would all be, like, combined together. Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? Be right back. That guy looks so here. familiar. Have fun. <laughs> oh, God. It's a, it, dude, it's a fun freaking game. I hear it gets kind of hard. Uh, I haven't run into that yet. Hmm. 
<laughs> hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! I heard this one time a kid was late for basic braiding and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue, but the kid had just drank a six pack of soda and so when the coach. Hey, where are you going, Malou? What? Shh, I snuck the out. Time. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Oh. <laughs> Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic training. <clears throat> Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier. <laughs> get in here and give me 20. Why was this a TV show? So what? Why was this a TV show? <laughs> I know, right? This has such great TV show potential. I think maybe like back in the 90s, like with um, Pete and Pete, like that type of stuff. Like that high concept TV show stuff. Mm -hmm. Like the so, stuff that it had to be bonkers. This I think that it, it would have been sold. Now, not so much. Mental because it all has to have like a point. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. <laughs> Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do... War is on. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Charge! Yo. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is yeah, this? Yeah, just happened. That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Yep. He just blew him up. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They hope you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. 
So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on. Get that figment. Be a figgy piggy. Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. <laughs> there it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. <laughs> Unless yeah. you'd rather just drop and give me plenty right now. This is so high concept. I absolutely love it. Less waiting, more motivating. You hit that ladder hard, you want, son. You want to get show um, who's boss. All of his uh, figments. You want to get them all. Like you unlock some crazy shit if you do. Watch out! Fire down below! Man! What is this? <laughs> Insanity. We can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What? That's supposed to mean. You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Oh, this kid. Bobby dealt his foot. That's what. You're stupid, new kid. Your yeah. hair is disconcerting, dude. <laughs> Like, uh, uh, honestly? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. <laughs> Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Bonker things. Come on, one nightmare. Nope. Come on, one nightmare. Nope. Okay, secret pathway. Hey Guilders, this is JR the Ferret, and thank you so much for watching my show, The Ferret Guild. I'll see you next time.
You are getting paid? <laughs> 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 I'll become the god of death once again. But right now, I need some sleep. Darkness, yeah. <laughs> What's the goal of the game? Darkness. Darkness.